Hey everyone, welcome to Drive By Reviews and doing How to Get Sardu Part 2. But before we get to that, I got some shout outs to do. I was playing last week with a couple cool cats. The first guy uh, was an awesome player, although he did attack me and start a vicious battle. You are a vain, greedy, cruel boy. And you are an old man and a fool. Father. Hey! Thor, Odin's son, you have betrayed the express command of your king. Through your arrogance and stupidity, you have opened these peaceful realms and innocent lives to the horror and desolation of war! You are unworthy of these realms, unworthy of your title! You are unworthy of the loved ones you have betrayed. I own it, Lord Hunter! I love that scene. It's just a fantastic scene out of the movie. But yeah, Odin's son. Odin's son was a player, so shout out to Odin's son. And second up, we got Edgar and his entire crew at Suicide Squad. Shout out to you guys. Now wait a minute, which one in Suicide Squad is Edgar? Is he, uh, Harley? And which one is Cyrus? <laughs> Anyways, awesome playing with you guys last season as well. We all did fantastic. Top three was great. Got our prizes. All right, let's get down to brass tacks and take a look at the second out of four missions to get Sardu. This is my first time through, which means I made some serious mistakes because I didn't know it was coming. Um, but I'm gonna walk you through it and I'll talk about ways in which you can overcome this if you do not have a level 40 Titan with a lot of good defensive skills and relics. All right, here we go, jumping in. So I am using, to beat this Nidrek Core, uh, I was using Durat, right? So this is before I leveled up Flame Hide. Uh, so Flame Hide was not as usable as it could have been. So Durat, he's powerful enough. Um, he's not amazing at defense, but he's great at offense. And I actually took some time to sniff through the relics I was going to use to see what I could use. Basically, my mentality on this was I was hoping for a lot of defense with a little bit of balance and offense. Um, but ultimately, I decided to go with two Fire Rubies, four star, three star. And then uh, the one, the item that gives him an attack boost along with Grenadiers. Because I was pulling in a ton of Grenadiers to fight with. And the spells I brought in, uh, I just kind of brought in whatever I wanted to get rid of, really. Um, I hate terror spells. Uh, free spells are essential in case you get into a bind, so I brought those. And then a Poison Cloud in case I wanted to kill ranged units off. Now I will say this, after playing it, I probably would have taken, I don't know. This is an interesting map, you'll see. Um, it wasn't a bad setup. You guys can, we'll talk about it as we go through it. All right, so here we go. So everything is to the right. And what I didn't know when I saw this clockwise thing with all the portals is that it's gonna spawn in a counterclockwise motion from the top and around each portal, okay? So I did this completely wrong. But the way I would do it is I would take everyone and go down and destroy all the units because it's gonna spawn like so. And you just stay in the middle and have Durat tank around it. Um, you basically have Durat start up top, but I didn't know that, so I just went straight headlong into battle. Cautiously, as always, because I'm like, what are what are with these spawn points? These are very strange. <laughs> so I kited them in by uh, having Durat stay back without taking all the damage. I wasn't sure how hard they were going to hit. Um, they weren't that bad. And that giant obstacle in there was messed up. It was just... Look at that. They got stuck on it. They got stuck on the obstacle and they went around finally and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Time waster. So I would say on that, just keep pulling everyone down. If I would have pulled them farther down, they wouldn't have gone around like that. Because really this map is more about time sensitivity. Um, everyone spawns I shouldn't have gone that spell after that spell, it's too slow. But everyone spawns so slowly and the Grenadiers move so slowly that in this map you really shouldn't waste any time. You just gotta go to the center to enact the next stage. Now I should not have started the center battle without my Grenadiers placed, but I did it anyway, so there it goes. So I didn't know it was gonna go that way, I didn't know it was gonna go counterclockwise. So I just attacked them thinking, okay, maybe they're gonna spawn at these various points randomly. Who knows? As you can see, my Grenadiers are kind of in a bad spot, <laughs> right? As soon as you kill off that Archer unit and they're about to die, 
See, I was still thinking that center location was going to spawn, so I didn't want to go there. Go there! That's where you need to be! Alright, watch this. Boom! They die! Boom! Oh no! <laughs> I got screwed on this. Lost that Grenadier unit. They're lost cause. I was like, alright, take him out. I should have started... I didn't know where the next one was going to come after this. I should have probably figured it out. Decided not to freeze them. So again, if you bring all your ranged units to the center, they're in a perfect position to just turn and pivot and hit things all the way across the map. So there it goes. It spawned on the next point. Different units. Right? Still archers, but now you also have a, uh, a tanky Goliath, unfortunately. So I froze him because I didn't want to lose any of my Grenadiers again. You wouldn't even need the freeze if you already knew this was going to happen. I didn't know. So if you notice, the, the units that are really most dangerous to you, the, the, the melee units, if you have everything in the middle, are never going to really get to you. So uh, really, what you should have on Durat is Ice Defense if he's vulnerable to pikemen like this, because he should be in there. Your Titan, whoever it is, should be in there combating these. See, now I got it. I was like, oh, okay. They're doing this. By now, I got it. As you can see, Durat's taking some significant damage for being level 40. Uh, he's, he's not just chilling. He's actually getting hit pretty hard. And it, part of it is watch these archers. They're gonna nail him. Yeah, for you know, a thousand HP is a lot when you're getting hit by multiple units. It's gonna be a problem, right? So he's taking out these units. I tell him to get the heck out of Dodge because I want my grenadiers to do something. And this is where you're not sure exactly where the last surprise is gonna come, right? Are they gonna go to the last spawn point and then what is it over? Of course it's not over. It's never over with these maps, right? Boom, there's a last spawn. It's what you might expect. It's a little harder. There's a Goliath with Spearmen and two Archer units. Easy for me to accomplish, right? It should be easy. Spells are wasted, man. Didn't even get the spells. And, I, you know, I got all excited on the second mission here. I was like, oh, I got three prizes. I wonder if they'll be Titans. I wonder if they'll be awesome relics. They were always terror spells, which is the lamest thing ever. Alright, so I'm being a smart boy here, finally. I'm taking out the range units ASAP. Boom, alright, now, here's the hard part. This is the only part that really would be hard if you know it's coming, and now you know it's coming. And you'll notice I'm trying to be smart. I'm trying to, before I kill that last unit, I'm trying to get my tank together with my range units. And they come from everywhere, alright? So, I actually didn't mind this back corner besides the fact that those range units might have gotten me. Um, luckily, they didn't take a pot shot like they normally, they just kind of do the thing. So, notice. All the spawn points spawn something. All of them. I didn't even notice that there was a Titan. There's a Titan, I believe. Where is he at? Anyways, tons of pikemen, tons of grenadiers, so I'm glad I had that fire defense. Boom. And then here come your reinforcements, okay? So, you know, basically you just got to hang on until your reinforcements come. And uh, luckily they are at the exact right spot where all of the melee units that spawned got out of the offensive positions for their range units. So your Panthers are just ready to go. Um, and that's why I would say Fireballs and Poison are probably one of your best bets right now because you're going to have a lot of those vulnerable units. Probably Poison would be the best, but you know, I know those, those are more rare. Um, okay, I guess there wasn't a Titan on this map. Yeah, no Titan. But just that at the end, so it goes clockwise and then everything spawns Pikemen and Grenadiers at the very end. So. If you stay in one spot, you can basically do the same thing where after you take out the first few units, all of a sudden you get a bunch of Panthers that drop down and you're good to go. Not that hard to do mission two. I would actually say that's probably one of the few ones where an infiltrator wouldn't be bad because you could move around that map very quickly, take out all the range units, then run back and let your range units take out the melee units. And then when that particular issue happens, he just go to town on all those ranged units with the Panthers, and it wouldn't be a big deal if, you know, like I, I was doing terribly in that map, and I still passed it with flying colors, and I believe I had level 12 grenadiers in that. So, there you go, guys. That's how to take out mission 204 with Sardu. Uh, discuss below if you guys have your own tips and tricks. Obviously, that wasn't the perfect way to do it, but if you have something that's a semi tank like Durat, or anything champion, paladin like that, or even guardian, you should be just fine with going around and taking a little bit of pot shots on him. I didn't even use reinforcements. Take some Goliaths with you. Um, and then I would say, uh, if I had a Panther for a spell runner, and I, I would have had an extra three spells in that battle, it would have been a piece of cake. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. There you go. Good luck on mission two of four, and I'll post three really quick here as well. Good luck on getting started.